No! Go! Hey! A huge hand for our, our gracious host. Get a mic. Mike, get a mic. Get a mic. Get him the microphone. No, give him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did a mic and they didn't have a microphone stand. So the, I was doing, using the mic and I stuck it in my little pocket here and I walked away with the microphone. <laughs> I'm like on my way to my car and go, oh wait, I stole the microphone. Clubs love when you do that. <laughs> so anyway, trouser adjustment here. Sorry, I lost my ass. I got the depression. Got the depression. I lost my ass. Don't lose your ass. No one's going to help you build back backside better. <laughs> Get your ass back. So I am Kevin Go Old Gray. Uh, uh, a weird, weird background. Uh, it started. My father was born in 1895. He was 64 when I was born. I'm 64, uh, and uh, oh yeah, that was that was we just we, that's yeah, I'm the product of like old. Yeah, I think you, you ever see a Lakers game? You ever see LeBron at the beginning of the game? But come out, there's that chalk. I took that chalk and rub it in his hands and stack his hands. There's this big cloud of you know chalk. Yeah, that's what I kind of envision what it was when my dad came. Just big dusty old antique antiquated <laughs> spermatozoa in the air. So, a uh, crust old sperm here. And uh, I'm from Iowa. Where they say in Southern Iowa? Iowa. Iowa. There's rednecks in Iowa, too. I, I say Iowa, and I think I'll stay away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been com I've been comedy since 1988. And, and uh, obviously, uh, <laughs> not a huge success. Um, <laughs> so, I, so, I'm taking on this new approach. I'm doing the opposite of comedy. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm trying to not be funny. And maybe I'll be funny. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the funniest of all time? Who's some of your favorites? Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. <laughs> Great. Great. You just, you, just, you know, if, if you're looking for something to just peacefully go to sleep, listen to some Cosby. Listen to some Cosby. The dulcet sounds of beautiful Cosby's voice to put you to sleep. <laughs> and just stick the finger in your rear end. So, anyway. Um, I, I think that the funniest of all time is the creator, to me. And I try to get past the creator thing, because I'm kind of agnostic. I was raised very Catholic, Irish Catholic, and I tried Buddhism, which I, which I dig still. But this, I can't get past the idea that there was nothing, and then something had to like set it in motion. I mean, there was not even time. Because you didn't need time, you didn't need an interval, because nothing happened. And then all of a sudden something happened and you had time, and you know, we ended up progressing here to the broad water, you know, living our hopes and dreams. You know, hey, does it get any better than this? God, I hope so, or we're all going to shoot ourselves later. So, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think the creator is funny. The creator, the creator does wild, wild jokes. Like, take George Michael. George Michael is a beautiful man. You know, he could sleep with anybody. He can write these beautiful romantic ballads and songs. Incredible. You gotta have faith. He writes all of these songs. And what's he do? He's, the universe makes him a junkie where he needs this drug heroin. And the only way that he can get off is to go fucking anonymous sex in parks. You know, in the bathroom of parks. It's like, oh God, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> good one, good one. That's for me. I was born in manic, I've got manic depression, so I'm constantly trying to reel these horses in, you know. God won, go zero, okay? And, and it's like, I always want to go somewhere stupid emotionally or whatever, you know, or, or go in this deep, deep, dark hole, or just go way over the top and make people think, you know, that I've just done like a barrel of meth or whatever, you know. They're, they're, it's very hard for me to keep the middle. Smite one. Uh, and then I find out eight years ago that I've got this acts over my head. I've got a genetic kidney disease. My kidneys are shutting down. I'm in kidney failure right now. I'm meeting with vascular surgeons to get on a fucking dialysis thing until I get my kidney transplant. And it's just right around the corner, like eight to ten years. Smite two. God two. Go zero. So then, four years ago, right before COVID hit, I get this little sore in my mouth. It's like, ah, oh, finally I get to see the oral surgeon. And uh, you got stage four. Get the, get the sound of this disease. Stage 4 invasive squamous cell 
carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma. Does it get any funnier than that? God, it's hilarious. Well, this happens to me. And I'm going like, what do I do? I got down on my knees and I listened to God and I said, everything about God is saying, go stop, go stop, go stop. I got down on my knees and I looked up and I said, God, fuck you, I'm going. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>